हेलो एवरी वन रंजिता हिया वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर स्टॉपिंग बाय टूडे आई एम हेयर विद अ सिंपल प्रोजेक्ट शोइंग माई लिटिल अटैम्प्ट विद फॉइलिंग ऑन फैब्रिक इट इज़ अ वेरी सिंपल क्विक एंड ईजी प्रोजेक्ट बट वेरी वेरी क्लोज टू माई हार्ट दिस वॉज समथिंग आई मेड फॉर माई सेल्फ आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम आई रियली नीडेड सम इंस्परेशन एंड मोटिवेशन so all i did is i came up with this little pouch to hold my itty bitty things and this was my attempt with foiling to keep me motivated wherever i go before we move on further kindly consider subscribing to my channel and tap on the bell icon if you haven't done it yet so that you get notified every time i post a new video so let's get started I'm starting with a lined black cotton canvas zipper pouch that I've made for myself. I'm also selecting this stencil from the brand Mudra and then I'm placing a piece of uh, scrap card stock inside my pouch so that paint accidentally doesn't seep into my pouch and stain the other side. Once I've centered the stencil, I'm dabbing over some fabric white colored fabric paint onto my stencil. I initially started with a stencil brush but then I felt my fabric was too thick and was not absorbing the paint so I went ahead and sponged in some fabric paint onto the stencil if you can see I've just smudged some white paint on the outside of the stencil so make sure you mask your stencil properly to avoid such uh, mishaps now I've let my acrylic paint dry I've taken this hot melt adhesive from Deco Foil Thermoweb Deco Foil and I've also uh, chosen the letters Y O U from the thin cut dies I had and I've cut out the Thermoweb Deco Foil I'm centering my letters properly with the help of a scale This is a double sided fusible adhesive that you can use to fuse your foil so I'm centering my letters here Once I've centered my letters here I am placing a piece of parchment paper and then ironing it ironing the letters with a hot iron my iron is set at medium heat and has no steam in it make sure you properly uh, iron your letters so that they are properly adhered to the fabric The instructions say that you have to iron it for around 30 to 50 seconds and I have done the same and I've let it cool don't be in a hurry don't try to peel your uh, adhesive double sided adhesive immediately give it enough time so that it dries once it has dried all I'm doing is I'm carefully peeling off the paper on top of the adhesive as you can see just the paper is peeling off and there is a thin layer of fusible adhesive adhered to my fabric this will help us in sticking the foil onto the fabric once i have done this i have selected a gold foil from deco foil this is in the shade gold and i have cut a small piece of it and i have placed it onto my letters make sure the shiny gold side is facing you Now I'm again placing my parchment paper on top of it so that I don't directly get my iron in contact with the foil. Once I have placed the foil correctly so that it is covering all the three letters, I'm placing the parchment paper on it and then again ironing on it with medium heat setting and no steam. I'm doing this very very carefully. making sure all my foil adheres properly to the letters that i have cut out this is a very very quick and easy way of foiling without a laminator and you can decorate your fabric products like t-shirts or your kids accessories and handbags with foiling so i've heat set it or he ironed it for around 30 to 50 seconds and then i am letting it cool once it has cooled properly i am carefully peeling off my foil 
as you can see it is a wonderful result i'm trying to uh, preserve that foil so that i can use it in another project as you can see perfect foiling on my fabric now i've done the stenciling and i've done the foiling i wanted to add some more to my pouch to make it complete so i've just written some uh, words onto my pouch with a white pencil and then i'm going over it with a thin brush and white fabric paint i'm not very good at hand lettering but i thought since it was something i will be using for myself i think the inspiration and the coat is all that matters and not how beautifully i put it out so i'm going ahead and lettering out this phrase which says only you can change your world it's a very simple phrase and i thought it is very apt and goes well with the world map background that i have stenciled onto my pouch a very simple pouch and i really liked how it turned out and i was very happy with the outcome I slowly took my time and finished uh, hand lettering the coat. You can also alternatively use a stencil to make your coat or uh, stencil your coat onto the pouch. But I thought hand lettering with fabric paint was a much easier option and a quicker option. Once I was done lettering the coat, I went back and checked out if I had to thicken any lines and then carefully finished painting the coat This project took me about an hour to finish right from stitching the pouch to then stenciling the background with white acrylic paint and then letting it dry and then foiling after that i hand lettered this coat it was a very simple project indeed but it gave me a lot of pleasure making it i really liked how this cute simple and quick project turned out the gold white and black colors went perfectly together and i'm sure i will be carrying this pouch wherever i go to carry little things in my handbag That's it my pouch is almost ready all i need is some time for my fabric paint to dry i hope i was of some inspiration to you with this project and you will definitely give foiling on fabric a try it is a very fun quick and easy way to add some interest and detailing to your boring fabric products you can see the close ups of the finished project here I hope you liked it. If so, please let me know in the comment section below how you liked my little attempts with foiling on fabric and I hope you will definitely give it a try too. This was my take with foiling on fabric. In the future, I will be coming up with more such fun, quick and easy projects. where you can try foiling on different mediums and surfaces i hope you like my attempts and will give them a try too thank you so much for stopping by
kindly consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done it yet and also do follow me on my social media where i share my craft card making and other photos and videos with you the links are given in the description box below thank you